Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover one of the topic. What does Pythagorean theorem actually mean? What does it mean to you? We do know that if we have a triangle such as this one, ABC with a right angle, and opposite side of this one is going to be B, opposite side of this one C, opposite side of this is A. So we can write down B square equal to A square plus C square. We, we do know that, okay? That's, we call it Pythagoras theorem or Pythagorean theorem, okay? But what that actually mean, okay? Now, uh, let, me, let me go a little bit of that. Let me draw a square, okay? This is a square of having length equal to L centimeter. So this is a square, all side equal. Now, what is this area? We do know that area is length times length or L square, right? So this one is that. Now, whenever we have this B square equal to A square plus C square, it might mean that it has a square over here, it has a square over here, it has a square over here, and all those three squares that form by this triangle, they have length of B and another length is C, another length of A. What do I mean? Let me let me draw this one over here. Let's say this one is A and this one is B and this one is C. So if I draw a square of length C, 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 C is this side, C is this side. And over here is another square A of this side, A of this side, this two, this all sides are equal, this all sides are equal. And then for B, there is another square, okay? And that's B. And this, 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 and these are equal. So according to this, square length formula is L square. So whenever we have drawn that, we can say that area of the square area of the square on the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is opposite of the right angle, uh, right angle, the side opposite of the right angle. So area of the square opposite to the hypotenuse equal to sum of areas on the other two sides okay so that's what it is area of the square a square opposite to the hypotenuse so that's b square area of the square equal to sum of other two that's a square plus c square okay that's what we get okay now uh, let's see how this thing works now this area, let's say this area equal to area equal to 169 square centimeter if we are uh, taking the unit to be centimeter, okay? So what is the length? Now the way we do this thing, the way you do, area equal to L square. So this is gonna be 169 equal to L square. And this is a perfect square. So L is gonna be square root 169 and that's gonna be square root 13 squared, this, this cross out equal to 13. So this equal to 13, this equal to 13. Okay, that was a very basic uh, arithmetic uh, concept we have learned. Now, this is, this Pythagoras theorem a little advanced than that one, okay? The regular area is not given such as this one. What is given, since we have a relationship between this hypotenuse with other two sides of a right angle triangle, okay? So directly, its length is not given, okay? These two length, uh, the, the square is formed, their length is given, their, their areas is given, okay? Now for this one, for this one, let's say I have another triangle like that, okay? Uh, if a question is giving, let's say, uh, let me write down this name first, A, B, C, and this length over here is given, let's say five, uh, four, this length is given, let's say four, or, 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 or let's say this one is given five, and this length C is given uh, 12, okay? What is this one? So actually what this means, the area of this particular square that forms, it might, it, it's gonna form, it's given, that area is 12 square equal to 144. 
and the area gonna be here okay that's gonna be this area is gonna be 5 squared or 25 now this area we can find out like this and then that's area area of the square opposite of this this is B so this area should be sum of these two areas 144 plus 25 so this B whenever we take the square root that's gonna be 144 plus 25 that's gonna be 169 and that's gonna be square root 13 squared that that cross out so 13 so B is gonna be 13 centimeter so see that whenever we say that a right angle triangle two sides not hypotenuse are 5 and 12 respectively what is the uh, side opposite of the right angle or what is the side of the uh, 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 hypotenuse that actually we are giving the information that area of this particular place this side that makes is 25 square centimeter uh, and this one is 144 centimeters so I'm I know this area okay and that area is going to be 169 since we know that area is 169 so its square root is going to be length okay and this length is nothing but this hypotenuse okay that's what actually mean like this okay so area now the question is instead of the area of the square will it work for other areas now let, let, let's say if I, if I want I don't want to draw rect, uh, square will it work for rectangle will it work for rectangle or will it work for let's say uh, a semicircle semicircle or will it work for um, uh, triangle okay triangle that's a question to explore about okay that you can explore that and actually that's what I'm gonna discuss in my next video okay hopefully you understand what this Pythagoras theorem actually means and how this thing works okay if you have any question leave it in the comment box I'll get back to you okay thank you have a good day